today we are in Myeongdong here in Seoul, Korea. Now this area is popping. There's lights everywhere, there's shopping everywhere, there's street food everywhere, and this is the perfect place to get trendy Korean street food. Because here in Korea, a lot of street food vendors have really began to kind of evolve and, and change up their recipe to make it very trendy, Instagram worthy. And so those are the type of food we are gonna try today. And there's no better area than right here. This is also a super great place to go shopping. Um, but FYI, this is probably one of the most touristy area here in Seoul, but for good reasons. And you guys will see, it's just so lively here. There's like a crazy energy. All right, let's go eat. Let's go eat! So we have tried this little cheese dog thing before in one of our Taiwan videos, but that was not legit enough. I didn't get that big cheese pole. So we are here for the ultimate redemption. If you're in Korea, oh, oh my gosh, it's sliding down. You should definitely get one of these corn dogs. Now, this is an upgraded corn dog because they have potato pieces outside. I mean, it looks crazy. So I drizzled ketchup and cheese sauce on it. Let's just go ahead and take a bite. Ready? Incredibly, incredibly crispy. And these potato pieces just adds so much. It's so delicious. It's like a, you throw a bunch of fries and then you fry it again. <laughs> it's so good. And look at the amount of cheese inside, you guys. Oh, they seriously just put a whole stick of cheese in there. Yeah, let's take more bites. Yum. I was really hoping to get that epic cheese pulls you guys see in photos. But you know, we tried. Either way, this is absolutely delicious. It's about 4,000 won. Mm. By the way, you guys, here I was trying to get the matcha cheese hot dog, but they ran out. What? So we had to go with this one, but this one tastes just as good. I think this shop is particularly famous, um, and I can see why. This is delicious, my gosh. All my fried dreams are coming true in one stick. Somehow we found an empty street in all of Myeongdong. How is this possible? Also, I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm saying it kind of like Myeongdong or Myeongdong. Okay, I'm trying. But look at this empty street. So I walked down the aisle and I was like, wow, I have never seen this one before. So this is fried shrimp and fried tempura, but they cover it in this sweet chili sauce. So you can see it on top, it's like a glaze. And on the side is dipoki. And I kind of like that it's in a little platter. So you get a sample size of everything. We're gonna try the shrimp. I'm really hoping it's not all batter <laughs> because you know, the outer layer looks super battered up. All right, let's take a bite. Mmm, crunchy. Nom, 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 nom. I think this would taste really, really good if it was fresh out, but I think it's been sitting there for a little bit because it's definitely cold. I really like the glaze on top. It's kind of a sad piece of shrimp inside. The outer layer is nice and crunchy, which I always appreciate. We're going to try the tempura, and it definitely doesn't look crispy. It looks kind of soggy. Look at it. Flop, flop. flop. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop playing with my food. Okay, let's try this. Ready? Oh, I can't even pick it up. Here we go. Mmm. This dough is super soft. It's got like a mashed potato kind of texture inside. Weirdly enough, I like that it's not crispy and that it's just kind of soft. Yeah. Nice contrast between this one and the crispy shrimp. And of course, as always, there is the bulky here. I wonder if it's in gochujang sauce or that sweet chili sauce. Oh. It's in the sweet chili sauce. Rice cake is always so filling and so heavy. That one's a little bit tough. So this one is just okay. I do appreciate the creativity. I appreciate the spicy sweet chili sauce. But other than that, you know, I think it's just been sitting out a little bit too long. I know why vendors do that because it just looks more like enticing when all the food is laid out. But you definitely want to find a vendor that's making everything fresh. All right, so let's go find one like that. Here we go. Ooh. Right, 
front of me, we have an egg bread. And I've seen this in a lot of places. It's so cute. It's like a little egg coffin, a little egg pillow. It's like Gudetama's tomb. What else does it look like? Like an alien baby. Okay, that's it. That's all I got so far. <laughs> okay, let's take a bite into it. Ready? I'm hoping the yolk starts running. We'll see. Oh, so at first looking at it, I thought it was just bread with an egg on top. You know when you guys eat egg waffle? It's got like a sweetness to it. That's what it tastes like. Almost tastes like a condensed milk type of sweet. It's very sweet, uh, very flowery. And so it's like a sweet and savory snack. Mm. Mm. It's so strange because on top, I thought the egg was like fried on top, but the inside is like a hard boiled egg. What, 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 what? So is there two eggs? What, 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 what? <laughs> what, 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 what? You know what, for 2000, I think it's a interesting snack to try. I wouldn't say no to it, but at least this one, it's super fresh. You get it piping hot, so that's always nice. Introducing the trendiest trend of all trends, frozen s'mores. <laughs> Look at this brick. Okay, by the way guys, it was really hard to find like the right background. So we kept walking around. Thank goodness this thing is frozen. It is not melting. Cause if you get like ice cream, oh, we are screwed. But here you guys go. This is a brick and it costs 8,000 wong, which is $6.80, right? Ooh, are we in New York or are we in Seoul? I'm not sure. But let's give it a try. Hopefully it's delicious. Can I even bite into this? All right. Here we go. Woo! Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Huh. Oh! Look inside, you guys! There's ice cream inside this cube! No wonder it wasn't melting because the marshmallow is just encoding everything. Oh my gosh! So the ice cream inside is actually kind of flaky, almost like shaved ice texture. And there's some chocolate crumbles in there. Now overall, this is a brick of cavities. On a creativity level, this is pretty high up there. I've never seen anything like this before. A s'more outer layer and ice cream on the inside. Okay, I'm pretty sure in like a couple of months, someone in California or New York is gonna open up a cafe that serves frozen s'mores. So I'm noticing a pattern here. A lot of the street food stalls all sell the same things. So you're seeing like cheesy lobster tail, baked scallops, you're seeing like potato wedges. It's all the same stalls in each of the streets. So very few stalls actually sell something different. But I guess that is just like, they find something that works and then other carts just copy it, right? So um, right in front of me, I have one of the seafood items. A lot of the seafood items here are really pricey. Like the baked scallop is 10,000 wong. Oh, why? And I don't even want to know how much the lobster, ta lobster tail is. Probably like seven or eight, I should probably ask. Okay, let's try this. So this is the octopus skewer. This is the skewer with octopus pieces and they put some sauce on it and some flakes. Here we go. Oh. Oh. The octopus is a little bit tough and I mean, usually they're really chewy, but this is a little bit tough, and I think it's because it's kind of been out. I kind of wish he grilled it a little bit more. Um, the sauce is like a sweet teriyaki sauce. Mm. Oh my god, it's kind of warm. It won't even come off the stick. That's how stuck and burnt to the stick it is. <laughs> For 4,000, I'm gonna have to say, this was not worth it, unfortunately. Boo! Eh. Did I drop something? Oh 
Okay, everybody, I know this video is supposed to be on trendy food, but here's the thing about trendy food. Trendy food are not actually good. They're really sugary, really salty, really expensive, and you know, they just look really good on Instagram and on video, but not so much in your mouth. So when I walked by this jajangmyeon shop, I really, really just had to get it. It looks so good. I mean, look at these chewy, gooey, springy noodles. Wow. Finally, something solid to slurp on. Here we go, let's take a bite of this. Woo. You guys, the noodles, very bouncy, very soft, and so, so good. Oh my gosh. Finally. Something that I can say is very, very yummy. Also, the shop owner is so cute, so adorable. I definitely recommend coming here and getting your noodles on. You can see that the sauce is really just clinging on to these noodles. And I think there's, I think there is some meat in there as well, like minced meat pieces and some onions. Yes, it looks like it. It's kind of hard to tell because it's just dark, dark sauce. Black bean sauce got a very light, savory flavor to it. It's very, very good. Finally, something ultra delicious. <laughs> I will tell you guys what, a lot of the snacks like the dumplings, um, the kimbap, maybe like meat, on a, like meat on a skewer, these are very basic food that's gonna taste really good. But definitely the trendier items are very filling and they're quite a lot, like saucy, ultra crispy, ultra cheesy. So just know that when you come here, maybe get a trendy food and then stick to the more, you know, traditional street food items. Hello cuties, do you like these videos? Are you enjoying Cup of TJ content? <laughs> then be sure to become a member. Click the join button for exclusive updates and behind the scene content. Okay you guys, so there you go. That was a trendy Korean street foods here in Myeongdong. <laughs> so my verdict on trendy food, they're really trendy, they're fun, they're like Instagram worthy, but they are not actually tasty. Some of them is way too sweet, way too salty, and way too expensive. But when you guys come here, there are a lot of stalls selling more traditional stuff like mandu, dipoki, uh, or kimbap. So you can always get those items. If you want to try a trendy item, maybe just try one, you know? Save your bucks for other food. Now, if you're looking for more traditional Korean street food, we do a ton of market tours. You guys can go here or here or in the description below. <laughs> Is it? It's well, just all over, you'll see these videos. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Let me know in the comments below which of these trendy street food would you actually try. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye!